Hello everyone, welcome to the United Way TV. Uh, yeah, my name is Rob Dukan, your presenter, daily presenter of the, the channel. Look, Manchester United qualify for the finals of the uh, uh, Premier, uh, not Premier League, but the Cup yesterday. And uh, look how disappointed I am. And I think most people are disappointed. Usually, when the football club qualifies for a, a tournament, any tournament, even pre-season, there is some positivity there, right? right? But yesterday, guys, in this, uh, United showed some qualities, which I think that quality defined our season. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys five things that we learned. I think we've learned everything in this season, but let's just go number one. Number one is that Manchester United, there is no unity in our team. The players hate each other. For those of you who watched my pre, my match reaction yesterday, I said it clear. The players hate each other. They hate each other. I mean, I'm not saying that they are not friends. I mean, they don't like each other. Number two, because, I mean, the reason why I'm saying that, let me back it up. It's so simple to just say that. It's because if the players don't like each other, you, you can see... Uh, Players don't play for each other. Football is a collective game. It's not tennis. It's not, it's not golf. There are certain situations where you need to help your opponent, not even when you're tired. You need to show that cohesion. I don't believe that Manchester United, I don't believe, in no way do I believe that Manchester United, we are going to, um, uh, that Eric Tenner goes into the, the game and tell players to play the way they're playing now. I think there is a level of, um, of, selfish within players marcus rashford has a ball the goal that bruno fernandez got he he created the situation out of marcus rashford error it's not like marcus rashford wanted to give him and one of the biggest problems we have had in manchester united in this the way we play is because i know you guys have spoken a lot about it because i have never been a ten hack out because i think that for you to dismiss a manager a manager has to have a system in front of him but the biggest problem we have had in manchester united this season some we even say last season but our, our performance just uh, kind of hide everything is that we don't see we really don't see what ten Hag want us to, the players to do and if and it, the reason why most manchester united fans are angry with ten Hag is because he sees the same thing that we see but he doesn't react towards it when Marcus Rashford doesn't give passes, when Marcus Rashford put his head down, when Marcus Rashford dis destroy uh, the co the, co the cohesiveness of our team, he still he keeps he still keeps Marcus Rashford in the pitch. I just don't understand what is going on with uh, Eric Ten Hag. But let me tell you guys this, Claire, is that I think I am I am now on on the situation on the situation that I think that um, guys I just think that Eric Ten Hag's time in Manchester United is over. It, it, not because I want, and I think Eric Tenag is not a bad manager, but I think his time is over because, you know, if you can't fix something, it's better for you to leave. But uh, the thing is, Eric Tenag cannot sack himself. If Eric Tenag resigns, he loses the financial package. There are two things that I think most of you, um, if you're not really aware of, I think most of you are smart people, you watch football, you read a lot, maybe even better than I do. But when a manager, there's a difference when the manager resigns and when the manager is sacked. When you're sacked, you're giving... I mean, the remaining of your contract with you or not, on most cases. And if you resign, it's like you gave up, you know, so, and you're not giving your compensation. Or if you're giving a compensation, it will be, it will be significantly lower than the contract which you sign. So most, most managers sign with clubs, um, protecting uh, their future by not, uh, you know, by the club sacking them rather than them leaving. So another thing I must say that uh, Eric Tenag, uh, he's not supported. There are many reasons why Eric Tenag should be sad. Eric Tenak is not a charismatic guy. He's a typical German guy. I'm, I have the strong feeling Eric Tenak will do well in the German league. The Eric Tenak can coach. He's a disciplinarian. He can do well in Bayern Munich, in Dortmund, in even Leverkusen, because he will be playing with players that can fit them, the, the profile. Look, another point I want to give is, there are a lot of points that we're playing with United. This is it. We are in the end of the season. Is that um, Manchester United, we have spoken here as, as fans that uh, Ralph Rangney came and, come and said these players can play the football I want to play. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer won even the counter-attacking players they, 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 they said co complaining about training. Then he came and tried to give them some physicality. They complained about training late, too late and so on while they are not giving the results. Manchester United doesn't have the players to play the football that you, the fans, want. So if we sack Eric Ten Hag, if uh, not, we, well, if the, if, uh, if the, the board sacked Eric Ten Hag, which I think at this point it is fair for Eric Tenag to be sacked, is are these same players going to do well with another manager? 
I bet they will, but it will be maybe for three, four, five months. But the biggest problem that people who have looked, looked into this situation deeply, because you know there are levels into analysis, analyzing football. People who have looked into Eric in Man to Manchester United deeply, they clearly understand that the biggest problem in Manchester United is ultimately not the manager. But the manager is always put on the sword when things are working well. You have when players are not listening to the manager, and the manager doesn't have enough replace uh, players to replace them because of the way that the because of the way the transfer market has been in regards to the club. Yesterday we had only team uh, um, our second team, our reserve team players on the bench. Eric Tenak could not bring in players. So how do you blame a manager? But but uh, but I want to say that another thing I want to say there are some also some good news of yesterday. One of the biggest good news uh, yesterday was uh, <clears throat> has been uh, one of the biggest good news has been the fact that uh, our goalkeeper Onana, the Cameroonian, who has had a very bad who had a very bad uh, 2023 season, who, who basically it's fair to say he helped to tank us, uh, you know, in uh, in our Champions League hopes. In Europe, he was uh, he was a culprit. It's a fair thing to say. I'm a Cameroonian, guys, and I and I can tell you this. I mean, but most of us, I'm a Manchester United fan. But I think he he didn't he 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 has come back from uh, a very disappointed um, disappointing disappointing first half of the season and done pretty well. I think Onana not only is he the man of the match. It's true out of uh, anger. I said on my reaction, the man of the match, which is a person. Is our opponent who just got the entry because he gave up they gave us a game right i mean they, they i mean to be fair is that they had to they had to they had to qualify for the finals so looking forward how will manchester united going to do in the finals i can tell you guys that if united scores one goal against city they have already had a fantastic final because they will not win the game i don't see this club even if they give us i don't see manchester united beating manchester city on the finals i don't see them even going losing to two goals in the finals united will be crashed at least three goals advantage city city will play on i think on the second gear with united and win easily why because we don't play as a football club or we don't listen to the manager yes i have some friends who were in the pitch and said uh, when united uh, there was serious, when they looked at the, the coach the coach was perplexed he wasn't in the game but look what guys even the owners were perplexed but that's not the point the point is that at the end of the game no matter how you teach a player even at school in school it is not the the, the it is not the the teachers who write the exams at the end of the day the players have to have to impose their system on their play they are the pros they are playing against for god's sake people who are at a lower level than they are so you will expect them to to do, to dominate such games but everything drops on ten half because he's the easy punch because he's not the British guy. He is not loved by the press. He lacks the charismatic. That's the minus which you play because at the end of the day, the football is an entertainment game, and um, and he's the manager of Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs in the world, which are not performing very well. So I see all these criticism and I accept it. But I think that the best way United going forward is to sell Marcus Rashford, is to look for a very good playmaker if Bruno wants to leave. And then we start from there. We have to be ruthless. Harry Maguire and also McTominay, they have to leave. We have to build a team of players who want to make a name for themselves. This is where Verata, this is one of the biggest jobs that our backroom staff will have to bring in players who want to make a name in this, in this game. We should stop giving crazy salaries to players. I'm very happy. I asked you guys mostly about how, how much salary should um, uh, take the Kobe Mueno, uh be given from uh, him from 10,000 a week and uh, my highest was 80 and but when I read an article online the article uh, uh, said Manchester United would give him uh, give October 60,000 pounds a week which I think is fair for someone who plays that game as for many we should stop giving players 100k when they have improved themselves and we should give salaries with clauses we should give salary clauses where united we went all wrong with manchester united football team is when we start thinking that we could buy a success we cannot create it when we started buying players from uh, arsenal or what is his name the chilean uh, sanchez from arsenal giving him i mean it was it half a million pounds a week 
That, that is when we started destroying Manchester United. And that gave the wrong message. Most pl players coming to the Manchester United were there more for the football. I'm not saying they didn't want to play more for the, more for the money, sorry, than the football. And that has made our team, as uh, Van Gaal said, a Disneyland of football. So most people go there just for fun, not because of they want to trade and uh, they want to uh, get results. And this is what Eric Tenak has fought very hard, has fought against that culture in Manchester United, which is basically lazy. Read Oli Gunnar Solskjaer interview, watch it on YouTube, everything is here. You understand that the biggest problem of Manchester United this season, yes, it's uh, in a way it's a manager, but if you look deep into it, like some of us who do, who do uh, look at these things, you will see that the players are massively to be... Uh, uh, to be blamed in where we are. How can United be come back, I mean, be leading 3-0 and they, and they almost lost the game in the last minute? Someone should tell me this, guys, because, I mean, I'm out of here. I'm, and my closing statement would be that I think that uh, Eric Tenag, it's about time. I'll be, I'll be okay if he's up. And Manchester United will be trashed by Manchester City, not because I won, but because our levels are down the ground. Guys, tell me what you think below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. We want to hit 10k, guys. But, you know, we would never read them because our our videos are not shared. Hence, mo um, most of you, I mean, you, you don't even know that this channel exists. But uh, I'm a fan. I'm doing this for myself. It's a it's a treatment for me. And, yeah, and I'll do that with or without you. Without say, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.